need that lizard to shoo out of my way. Okay, with uh, with Timmy 2 redirected with the water going that way, we're gonna we're gonna work on the diagonal flow and redirect it. But I just want to show you real quick. You know, we lost a lot of water when we were digging it out, but this whole area where you see shoreline there, that'll be underwater. And uh, that's an easy one, even if I gotta dig it out deeper from the excavator, I can reach it from the high side. But today's project, we're gonna look at this diagonal flow. See if I can't, there we go. So we've got our, we've still got our creek flow, seasonal creek flow. This, uh, this fence over here is where it comes in off the neighbor's property and it goes in this little pocket pond and then it overflows here. And uh, we do have a elevation height here from debris getting pushed across the fence. That's just a maintenance thing. As you can see the water's flowing in into this pond and then it's flowing out through there. The plan today is I want to get it away from the manure pond which is right over here like some of the water going it's going in right past that hay it's some of it is going in the manure pond I think I can come right over here cut a new overflow here and actually direct the water into this paddock since uh like I said since that water is no longer going to flow down this hill I'll get some water over there and maybe we get enough seepage here to, to maybe water it to here and then get the get the new creek going that way so I'm gonna bust out a new overflow over here and scoop these rocks out and then add dirt and I'm gonna to have to berm up everything around here to, to get it a little bit taller but I think it's all doable so let's uh, see how far we can get before I stain it all up the visibility is much better I think you can even uh, foot deep you can see the uh, plants on the bottom anyway we're gonna we're gonna murk it up as we do our work Anyway, this is that uh, clean water coming in to push out all the all the dirty water. All right, so over there at the gate entrance, I got good and properly stuck. I was able to use the bucket to kind of inch my way out. I went ahead and cut me a hole here through the fence here. So we're going to try to get the water to flow down through here. All right, I got her flowing. And uh, I'll just have to redirect. I had to get over here. I was gonna I gotta stay ahead of the flow so I don't get mudded in again and anyway, we'll start cutting in here to get it into this actual paddock okay so I got it flowing through the fence and then from here I think I'd say this in the past I don't need to use this this gate right here because I got another gate further up here so I think I'm just gonna run it through the gate and looks like it's uh it's almost like i need to just make a gentle curve in here which i guess i'll do now or you know, almost like the idea of digging a, a hole there just go ahead and dig in a pocket pond that way it fills into the pocket pond but then flows out that way all right looks like i'm getting a little carried away i'm gonna have to uh when the flow stops in the summer i'm gonna have to come back and level these probably have to use a level and just a pickaxe to make it level and then uh go ahead and build a little pond so it's going to come in here and right here is where it's going to exit out um anyway real easy when you got equipment <laughs> all right well i'm gonna get my bearings here so i've got originally this mound right here is a big underground hugel culture this thing was just a nosedive cliff and i was putting all my wood debris in there and covering it. But then I had uh, made a moat around it to get water down to the hoogle. I kind of have a moat built around it. But that, so I've got this flow right here and actually it's gonna drain straight into this pond. So we'll, we'll have two places where it enters. Past that it has no choice but to flow out somewhere around this gate area. I'm just gonna wait and see where it wants to go. But I think right now I'm gonna get the uh, I'm out of out of diesel in my excavator. I'm gonna get the skid steer, start sloping this up, try to keep it even with this. Uh, so this little taper off here, I'm gonna try to slope it in here. Um, and then I kind of want to do the same thing here. I want to take this where this is all nose diving down. I want to kind of slope out that way, kind of level it out. 
and that'll kind of give a little path for the water here. Okay, well, I'm all done for today. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll stop the flow coming in through this gate. I'm seeing a little bit of a flow here, but it's it's going to stop. Anyway, the uh, water's in that pond over there. Got cut the new overflow. Got this little pond, and it is now overflowing, as you can see here, spreading out, going on down its path, uh, very far away from the manure pond, which was my goal. So I didn't uh, didn't worry about any kind of clay seal or anything. This is what I would call a soaking pond, and. You know, basically as it's overflowing it's also soaking in the ground because it's not not filled so in theory we're we're raising the uh, water table in the ground and if it fully saturates on the ground that's the longer that, that this creek will flow if that makes sense or that, that's my theory anyway but even looking at these two here you got this one flowing into here and then we got that swampy area at the road right there I mean, in theory, this could, you know, when this stops flowing, it's going to go underground and probably pop up where that, that uh, swamp stuff is over there. So I think that's pretty cool. Like I said, I will have to come out here with a pickaxe and a shovel and a level and, and uh, level things off. I mean, you don't want water just flowing to one side. It's going to create a rut, so we're going to have to get a level across the whole thing. We'll just save that for another day when things dry out. And then I'm still, heck, I may even make this thing three times bigger like I did with Lake Timmy. Who knows? But I'm, uh, I don't know if it's actually split. The water coming from that one, it's splitting in the two spots, but they're both making it into this pond system, and that's fine. Anyway, I think that's uh, it for today. Y'all have a great day.